All right, thanks to Ashley there. We want to get back to that breaking news happening in downtown Denver right now. A live picture right now showing you the Auraria campus where you can see Denver police are trying to break up a pro-Palestine protest happening on the Auraria campus. We've already heard about 40 arrests happening so far today as there are hundreds of protesters out there at times clashing with police as they have tried to disperse the crowd. Looks like more arrests may be impending. Let's get straight to the ground. Vicente Aranis there live for us right now. Vicente, what's happening? And what you're looking at is a small group of police officers, but I want to call your attention to what's behind them. Dan, if we can walk over this way for a second. If you look behind them over on the street, there is a large sheriff's bus that has just arrived with more officers. We're going to turn the camera around this way, and I'm going to show you just a number of protesters that are here today. And what we saw just a moment ago, if we'll walk over this way, and these are the tents that the officers approached just a short while ago and said that uh, they were looking into the tents to see who was inside of them. And then if we walk this way... If you'll, we're going to step back just a little bit here so I can walk you through what I'm seeing happening. The protesters now shifting to the side. It's a circle that they have formed around the tents to protect their encampment. Of course, these are pro-Palestinian protesters. And a moment ago, the Denver Police Department said that they would be arrested with the bullhorn. We brought you some of that live a moment ago. And they were told they would be arrested. But again, Dan, if we can show the steps of the Tivoli building, that's just a very large force. There has to be at least 100 police officers there that are overlooking the encampment. A moment ago, we also saw what appeared to be a commander that is typical of what happens in a situation like this that had a clipboard and was talking on the phone. They, they have a command usually back at the police department that's watching and they work together with folks over at the police department and folks here on the ground to decide when the police officers move in. Again, the Aurora campus sending a statement out this afternoon that they say it's not the protests that they're uh, going against here because of free speech. It is because of the encampment issue. The encampment, of course, started yesterday. So, you guys, this is heating up. It, it, is, it is pretty much clear that the police officers will be moving in at some point here. These are the typical steps that are taken just before officers move again and start arresting people using zip ties to tie wrists. All of the officers have a number of zip ties on their utility belts that they wear. So, yeah, it, it looks like it's going to happen again. Cannot guarantee that. But certainly all indications are that there will be another encounter between the pro-Palestinian protesters and the Denver Police Department. So that's what it's looking like on the ground. We're, of course, going to have continuing coverage through the rest of this newscast. And we'll be here throughout the evening to let you guys know what kind of developments take place. So I don't know if you have any questions for me, uh, but that, that's what we're seeing here on the ground right now, guys. All right. Yeah, Vicente, sounds good. We'll get back to you if things escalate. Be sure to let us know. Appreciate